how does Bitcoin fit into my lifestyle? Bitcoin is a, uh, it's, it, it, I see it as a store of wealth. I see it as a store of value. And so I bought a few Bitcoin back in the day and I'm just holding it. I'm not touching it. I'm just holding it. And so how it serves me now, it just serves as a distraction, to be honest. It's just a freaking distraction. Like, I really wish I wasn't checking the price of Bitcoin every few days, but I am. And uh, I even made like a, a, like a, I even made like a commitment that I broke, which was I'm not going to check the price of Bitcoin for all of 2020. But I broke that commitment. I'm like checking the price of Bitcoin every few days. I'm like, oh, what's that now? What's that now? What's that now? It's dumb because I'm not going to sell it anyway. Whether it's a hundred thousand dollars or whether it goes to two thousand, it's not going to make a difference. I mean, maybe if it goes down to two thousand, I'll buy some more, but. There's no point in me checking it. I really don't need to check it. Plus, whenever it goes super high or super low, my friends always tell me anyway. They're like, Teddy, you should check the price of Bitcoin lately. So I don't need to personally check it. It's it's just a distraction. And it's like checking the check going to the casino, you know, ching, ching, the slot machine, and you're saying, Oh, what's the what what do I get today? Again, not gonna make a difference for me. I don't I have no plans on selling it anytime soon. But I think it's a great store of uh Store value, and I love how a lot of things I love about Bitcoin. One thing I, I think is so fascinating is that Bitcoin is the very first technology, the very first digital technology where you can't duplicate the file. Like that's inc- that's crazy. Like when you send an email, if you were to send me a picture of yourself, why well, have the picture near the picture, right? Or you send me a text, well, I have the text near the text, so it's like a duplicate. But you can't do it with money. Like if you were to create like a digital currency, like you can't be like, yeah, hey, I have a dollar. I'm going to give you a dollar. And now I still have the dollar. It doesn't work that way. So Bitcoin is like the first technology where you can send someone a file, like a bit, and now they have it and you don't. Like that's crazy. It's the first ever handoff of a file ever. And that, that's why it works as a currency because you can't duplicate it. It's so cool. Like every other file out there you can duplicate and you can like hack into. And, and with Bitcoin, everyone's like, the more people try to hack Bitcoin, the more, the, the, the stronger it becomes. Like it just, it just builds on its own. It, it builds on, like it gets more secure the more people try to hack it. It's the definition of anti-fragile. So the more people try and break it, the stronger and harder it becomes. It's super cool. So I do love that about Bitcoin, but uh, I've used to watch so many documentaries about it. And now it's just a complete distraction because I don't plan on buying any more unless it goes super low and I don't plan on selling it anytime soon.